Hi guys. So, since most people aren't that good with the IT stuff, I thought I was going to make a video on how to upgrade your lab radar or patch the firmware so that you can uh, get the latest version. For example, uh, if you bought it a while ago, you might not have uh, Bluetooth, so you can connect it to your phone. So let's see. So what I usually do is, well, I'm holding my labrador here, uh, give it some power and turn it on. Let's see, is it, okay, it's perhaps not visible, but when you sh turn it on, uh, before you come into the menu, you will have uh, a firmware version. Let's see here, I'm gonna reboot this and see which one I have. FW-A 1.2.0 is the one I have. Okay. So the way I do it is I remove my SD card, this little guy from the lab radar, and I insert it into my computer. <coughs> Let's minimize this. Good. And um, this is this page is mylabradar.com slash download slash and you get to this page or you, you just google it click on this link and you will get beep, this file this one Oop. <laughs> and uh, after you downloaded it uh, it should look like, like something like this just uh, Extract files. Okay. Whatever. Okay. And then you get three files. One, the install note is the instructions. Let's have a look at those. So this is the one I'm following. It's it's very easy actually. <coughs> so these two files, copy them to the root of your SD card. Then just insert the SD card in the in the lab radar, and it'll do its stuff. So these are those two. Right click, copy, and then I'll have to find the lab radar. There we have that, and nothing is in the root of that. So paste that shit in the root of the lab radar, and then all oh, we're done in Windows. Boop. So I remove the card again. And then let's just insert this bad boy in the radar. Boop. I put a piece of tape on it so it doesn't flap open. These just the some of the things of the lab radar not that good quality sorry to say okay so let's try to do this and then just turn it on and it says 1.2.4 which is the version I downloaded so that's basically as easy as it is uh, let's see what 1.2 point that's the wrong button I am going to try to find the install notes for this to see how what, what's the big difference. So okay, shut down the lab radar again. So bug fixes and improvement. Minor bug fixes. <laughs> Fix the bug. Battery level indicates that it was empty while on external USB battery pack. Fix the bug that was preventing the radar to be armed while on external USB battery pack. So stuff like that, that might be annoying you, uh, is fixed with a software update. <coughs> so it's good to make sure you always use the latest version and then you won't get as annoyed because it's a fairly advanced piece of equipment. So bug fixes will make your life easier. And that's basically it. It isn't harder than that. 
if you know how to copy a file you'll be able to update your lab radar okay have a nice day